Hi guys, today I'm gonna make a soup. Here I have uh, some turkey parts. I have to take them out in the bag and wash them. Here I have this huge turkey neck. And some organs. So uh, I'm going to take out the heart from the bag. They are still bloody, so I have to wash this blood. I'm going to throw the bags. Never want blood in your food. So. The meat has to be very well washed before you boil it. Here, uh, the blood is coagulated. So I have to wash it very well. I'm gonna use another bowl, which is on my left. But the heart uh, has this coagulated blood here, so I'm gonna take each one. I'm gonna wash it. The gizzards seem fine, they don't need anything extra. The heart, they need uh, extra care. This one looks pretty fresh. I didn't need to extra wash it, but this one is uh, bloody, just like the other one. This one is fine. Now the turkey neck. Yeah, the bone and has some blood in here also. And now it's fine. You just put it here. Three gizzards. Them in a bowl and two hearts. Anyway, so, um, when do you boil the organs uh, or meat in general? Um, it leaves uh, some dirt that needs to be scooped with a spoon. So I washed everything. And it's here. And it's ready to uh, be put in a pot to boil. Hmm? So I'm gonna show you right away how I do, uh, do that. And uh, start preparing the soup. So guys, uh, this is the meat here, 
as you can see it's uh, well prepared well washed and it's ready to be thrown in the pot this huge is a turkey neck I put too much water on it a second on the way the heart dessert dessert heart 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 dessert Heart, heart, heart. These hearts are huge. And one gizzard, and it's done. And I'm gonna start to fire so it will boil to be on a medium heat. And uh, now we just have to wait. And we'll leave some dirt and I'm gonna scoop it with a special spoon with the little holes in it. And um, that's it for now. And now guys, I'm gonna put some water. I'm gonna wait. And uh, then I'm gonna start uh, peeling the potatoes. I have already peeled one potato. I'm gonna put it here, not so dry. And now I'm gonna peel the potatoes. These are red potatoes and are uh, perfect to be boiled, so they are perfect for my soup. It's becoming very hot in here because I have to pull pot if water is boiling. It's very hot in my kitchen. Now I'm gonna peel another potato. The red potatoes are perfect to be boiled. So perfect for my soup. And I hope you're doing fine today. And now I'm 
think you are getting relaxed while I cook because I like to cook. This one. And uh, it's for other vegetables. I uh, bought a bag frozen. Bag with uh, vegetables that are already cut. And for this soup I'm gonna use um, a plant, I will show you after I finish cleaning the potatoes, which gives a um, very nice taste to the soup. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe not. And then that one is not frozen. I just bought it from the market and it's fresh. I will uh, need to cut the leaves in the small in smaller pieces. You can hear around the background that the water is boiling. This one is um, harder to cut because it's smaller. And this part is um, harder to cut. Not because the potato is soft, just because it has some sharp edges. I wonder what do you guys use to peel the potatoes? Do you use uh, um, this kind of tool or do you use a knife? I mean, do you prefer the classical way or... Um, modern instruments for cutting the potatoes I think um, I mean I'm sure these um, tools are invented to make the job easier in the kitchen I'm gonna do the same for um, these potatoes uh, and um, I'm gonna show you my next uh, move. I'll be back. So uh, now guys I'm gonna cut the potatoes in smaller pieces and I'm gonna use the other knife. I don't care about the size of the chunks. I mean, they don't have to be symmetrical or things like that. Um, 
potatoes, some daily brown starch. I mean, if you leave the knife unwashed. can see it becomes white. That's the starch. And you don't want too much starch in the soup. And also make the potatoes uh, gummy and um, want them to be softer but when, when you fry them potatoes then we have to cut them um, symmetrical or approximately symmetrical but when you put them in a soup doesn't really matter I just want them to be approximately equal potatoes remain here when it's bigger you have to cut it in half and then in half again they don't sit still Also, you can leave me in the comment section what would you like me to cook, what would you like to see in one of my next videos. You can see the water is not clear. That means when I cut the potatoes, they let some starch in the water. And I want to throw that away. Why is the 
Kleinen Kuh. This is enough and my walk will be meaningful. So now it's time for the potatoes to go in the pot. Whoa. I need to lower the heat. And in this pot too, I'm gonna throw some potatoes. But I'm um, trying to be careful not to get touched by the hot water. So now I'm done with the potatoes and I'm gonna put the vegetables. So now guys it's time for the vegetables. Like I said I bought them on the market, they are already cut and it makes my job easier. Cut the bag, this is how they look. And I'm gonna put them in the pot. Half here and half in the other pot. And I have a because I want to have plenty of vegetables here so now it's time for the other bag so uh, I want to see that this uh, video is not sponsored so um, if you see Some names with your own. No, it's not sponsored. We don't have any sponsors. So I'm um, gonna put some here. And half here. So because uh, the vegetables are frozen, it lowers the temperature and now the water is not uh, boiling anymore, but uh, it will soon boil. So, and now I'm gonna do some dried spices. And now I'll add this, which uh, contains um, uh, wheat brands and other concentrated vegetables, which uh, will make the, my soup um, more flavored. And um, you should add like a spoon to one liter. And I will add the by the eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here also, it is uh, the quantity is bigger. Let more. Now we mix them. After it boils, I'm gonna taste it. So if it needs more, I'm gonna add later. Because if you add too much and it contains too much salt, then we cannot eat it. So it's always better to add little by little. I'm mixing here also. It contains the turkey neck, it's huge. This is the smaller part actually, and this is the huge part. Whoa, look at it. And now I'm gonna wait for it to boil, and I'll come back later. 
So uh, guys, these are the leaves that I'm gonna put uh, in the soup. adding them to the soup. And I'm gonna mix The plant that I just added is called sorrel and uh, because uh, now we are in springtime this plant is um, found in the market so that's why I decided to add this to my soup and uh, it's similar to the spinach but um, it's not exactly the same I mean the spinach has a more um, powerful taste and this one has a um, softer taste but it gives a nice aroma to the soup as you can see it's boiling and uh, it's almost ready so yummy and now we'll cut the parsley Be adding this to the very end so it won't lose its properties. And while I this, then I decided it needs more. And the rest of it from the back here. 
And now this is empty and I'm gonna throw it away. the spiral plant and all the vegetables which gives the super rich aroma and now I have a taste again and see how it tastes hi guys um, the soup from this pot is ready, so I'm gonna put the uh, this one on the left. I'm gonna switch it on the right. Because the heat was more intense here and um, um, this one is ready and the other not. So I stopped here. And now I'm going to put some parsley here and season it with some parsley. That's it, it's ready, it smells great. You should be here. You would like um, a bowl of soup. <laughs> So guys, I hope I inspired you to do this uh, spring soup at home and uh, don't forget to subscribe, this way you'll get to see all my new videos coming up. Bye bye, see you in the next video.